Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 2 of our Seedling Raising and the Nursery Establishment. My name is Davis Sumba and I'm an agronomist from Simlo. So today I'll be taking you through on what is needed to establish a nursery mostly using seed, seed, seedling trays. So we have three main components. Number one, we have the planting media. This is pit moss. And then number two, we have the we have organic manure. This is Evergrow organic manure. And then number three, we have vermiculite. So we start by measuring the planting media and manure in the ratio of one to one. So we mix them together. So the essence of uh, using planting media is to hold water and allow space for root development. And then organic manure comes in to supplement the nutrition part. And number three, vermiculite is actually to improve water holding capacity of the mixture. So once you mix it, now the next step will be to put them on the trays. So this is how we do it. We spread it evenly on the trays. So you have to use the balance because organic will only supply the nutrition part, but uh, pit moss allows for water holding and also root development. Today I uh, will be doing a sample demonstration on how to plant cabbage. We have here Polo F1. We have different types of trays. So we have trays that come in 288 holes. You also have other trays like these ones. They come in 66 holes. We have others in 160 holes. So basically what you need to know is the morphology of the crop. Like if you're doing watermelons, if you're doing butternuts, if you're doing cucumbers, those one with big leaves. So we'll be using such trays, 66 holes, so that it allows space for crop growth. And then if you're doing small crops like, let's say tomatoes, cabbage, you can either use 160 holes, you can use two or four holes. So once you are done, we'll have to start pricking the holes. So you press, you compress the media so that you allow space for placing the seeds. Now the next step will be to place the seed. So each seed, one seed per hole. So you go step by step until you are done with all the holes. One advantage of using trays is that there is a higher percentage of germination and you ensure that every seed counts. Since most of these hybrids are very expensive, a farmer will want to maximize on profit so that he does not lose any seed. So after you are done with uh, placing the seeds in the holes, the next step will be to cover the seeds. So this is how it's done. So you use the same combination of the planting media. So this is how it should look like. So the next step from here is you place it on a stand and then you can water and then ideally if you want to increase the germination rate you can cover it with a black polythene so it will improve the heat you know temperature is one of the factors of germination so covering it with a black polythene it's actually ideal as it will improve the heat and therefore germination may start from four to five days instead of seven days. Yeah. So another question that maybe most people may be asking, how much is needed per tray? So we have done some calculation and ideally for one tray, you need about between one kg, roughly one kg of the media to plant one tray. 
So this is just the basic of doing, uh, of raising the seedling. So with this, you can replicate as many trays as you want. So the next step, will we will take this to a shaded area where at least it's a controlled environment away from pests and also away from direct sunlight. So this is where we'll place it. And then after that, we can water and then cover it with a black polythene, like this one over here. So this will ensure there is enough heat and it will increase the rate of germination. Germination will take between, with, between five to seven days. So after germination, we'll, we'll continue watering, regular watering. And then uh, number two, pest control. So you use the recommended fungicide. The most common pests here are maybe white flies, catworms. So you use the recommended uh, insecticide to control them. And then number three is fungal infection. In the nursery, there's dumping off and uh, downy mildew. So there's also fungicide for that. So maybe spraying can be done maybe after two, or two weeks or so. And then, so in the nursery here, they'll stay for three weeks. And then from there, we'll take them to another area for hardening for one week before it's being transplanted in the farm. So once the seedlings are ready, so all you have to do is press at the bottom of the tray to remove the seedling. So the roots are very intact and you have not interfered with the roots. So the next step will be to place them in the soil where we are, in the farm where we have prepared your farm. So the crop will continue to grow. Another advantage of this method is it's easy to transport the seedlings. So all you have to do is pack the seedling well in a carton or if you have a, a trolley, you can pack them and place them in a vehicle, either a pickup or a truck, and you can tr be transported to different areas. Like right now, we have depots at different brand areas in Kenya. We have a depot in Meru, we have a depot in Lake Tok Tok, and we take orders all over Kenya. And so in case of any query, if you want to place your order, you can call the numbers at the bottom of your screen and we shall always be ready to assist you. Thank you, and uh, we look forward to another session like this.